Welcome to our homestead. My name is Cherie. And I'm Joseph. And today in the Harvest Kitchen, we're going to be making cardboard tube ribbon star ornaments. We'll be using all recycled materials to make something fun. We hope you'll join us. Today in the Harvest Kitchen, we're going to be making this cardboard tube beautiful ribbon star ornament. And I'm using a certain type of ribbon we'll talk about in a moment and glitter to make it look sort of like Christmas ribbon candy. So it really has a pretty sparkly look to it. Okay? So here's what we're going to need to do this project. We need some recycled cardboard tubes. So it could be from paper towel, toilet tissue, a variety of things, even wrapping paper. We're also going to need a pair of scissors. We will need some glue. Now, I was able to go to the store today with my son Joseph, who's joining me in the Harvest Kitchen today, and we were able to get some Aline's Tacky Glue, and I'm so excited. Also, you can use Elmer's glue. That'd be fine, too, or any other type of school glue. We're also using metallic spray paint, but you don't have to use spray paint. You can always use some sort of craft paint that you have in a color you would like to use. And then we need some glitter. Now you can add any kind of color of glitter that you'd like to, but today for these ornaments we're particularly going to use an iridescent glitter that's going to give us the feeling of ice or sugar. I like to think of this as a sugar star, okay? So now we are going to also need a paintbrush because we're going to be painting, either painting onto your cardboard tube or we're going to be gluing, okay? You're going to need a pen for marking, you will need a ruler for marking. You will need some different types of ribbon. And this is what we chose to do this. This is some of the sort of see-through net type uh, wired ribbon. But what I'm going to be doing, I'll, I actually will not be using the wire. So it's not necessary to have the wire. So here's a piece that Joseph will be using to make a green ornament. It has some net and some regular ribbon on it. It helps to be kind of transparent when you have the silver paint underneath or gold paint, whatever color you're going to use. Okay, and then we want to have, you could use curling ribbon, you could really use any kind of ribbon, but I found that it does not work well with this sort of plastic metallic ribbon that you buy on the rolls where you have a lot of different kinds of ribbon on the roll. But the curling ribbon would actually work. So we'll show you how those will work in just a minute. And then you want to have some sort of ties for your star when you're finished, so we need those. And then we're going to be using paper clips to glue our pieces together. We're going to use a toothpick to help us. This will be one of our tools. And we need a couple of small beads that match the colors of our ribbons. And today we're making a green ribbon, so we have green beads and a red and blue and silver ribbon. And I have some pink beads that will be fine when we work with those. Okay. So let's get started. So in order to start your star, we're going to cut out our the points of our star first. So we're going to take the ruler, and whether you do a toilet paper tube, paper towel rolls, whichever, it doesn't matter. This one for the five-pointed stars that we've been making, that seemed to be a toilet paper tube seemed to be just about long enough for just as many points as we need. In fact, we'd have a few left over. Mm -hmm. So we're going to mark it at the half inch mark. Or you could even flatten it a little bit and press down on it if you have a child working with you. We could, and that would probably make it easier. So we're going to make our first mark at all of our half inch points here. And just go, you know, all the way down the ruler, all the way down the line. And then we're going to move to a different point as Mama has explained to me many times to make cutting more convenient. And we're going to make all of our points a second time so that we can line up our scissors with both points and get a nice straight cut so our, all of our points on our stars are the same width. So we're marking every half inch down the tube and then Joseph is going to cut the tube at those half inch marks. And you'll have some spots, some pieces that come out better than others. So he's going to just cut, and whatever we can use, we'll use those pieces. And whatever isn't usable, we'll just toss it aside for some other project. Okay, so now while he's cutting, we already have five pieces cut. So as he's doing that for the next star we're going to make, we're going to show you what we're going to do here. 
So I'm going to take a little tray over here. It's my glue tray and my glitter tray. And we're going to put these pieces on. And what I want to do is get some glue. And I'm going to take this glue, just put a little bit of dab of glue on the edges of my star pieces here. Okay? And then I will press together. Now, I found that if you rub them together a little bit, it helps to get the glue done really secure on there well. And I'm going to use paper clip put that in place. Now you may have seen these on YouTube or the internet. I surely have. And I really enjoyed this particular ornament. I thought it was great to make with tubes because of course it's a recycled project. And so when, in our home we're always trying to be very frugal and we try to use, reuse things if at all possible for different projects. And this year money was pretty tight as you may have been going through yourself. And so we wanted to come up with a plan to do some activities for some gifts that wouldn't cost very much at all, but it would be our labor. And several of our friends are also like that too. And they, they were mentioning to me that they really enjoy having homemade projects and things. So we thought we would surprise them this year and make some ornaments out of recycled things while we're making our video. So right now we're actually making gifts for our friends for Christmas. So I'm going to put a little more glue on here, okay? And then I'll have these two glued together. And as you can see, it went really quickly while I was talking with you. This is a really good project for little hands at this point. And so now, we're going to slot this set up, and you'll be surprised, but this will be set up in just a few minutes and ready to go, okay? So you could use your star just like that without spray painting or doing anything else to it and decorate from there or put very little decorations at all. You could have a child color it with marker pens or you could paint with the paintbrush. But in our case, what we decided to do uh, because of time and because we also wanted them to be silver, Joseph has already done some spray painting. So he's going to show you the next part while I remove these pieces and set them aside. Okay. So what we've done with these stars is, of course, nothing particularly complicated. We use the metal, or I use the metallic spray paint, and uh, just took them outside over a piece of newspaper, and ran all of the sides. A good, uh, a good tip recommendation that I noticed is uh, because I have a habit of holding on to it while I'm painting it, so I can, you know, kind of paint and have a grip on it and not drop it or whatever is if you wear a rubber glove, latex glove, glove like a surgical glove, disposable glove, that uh, you won't end up with nice, pretty, sparkly fingernails like I keep ending up with after using this paint. <laughs> Good tip. And um, it doesn't take all that long, it seemed, when I painted it, to dry. Uh, anywhere from 30 to 30 seconds to, you know, maybe a few minutes, depending on, you know, what the air was like outside and uh, how much, how heavily you covered it with paint. I have a bad habit of cover coating and liking to thoroughly cover everything, so I tend to put on a much heavier amount of paint. And even still, it only took a very few minutes to dry. Okay, so Joseph is going to be using the green ribbon, and I'm going to have him start demonstrating his green ribbon while I am preparing this ribbon. So what we want to do is have a strip that is no wider than the actual star width, but you don't want to have a piece that's too wide. So in his case, he is going to be gluing down this ribbon. He will put some, what, we'd, what we're going to do is, Joseph, why don't you do this? Why don't you take this tray and squirt out some glue on there? We're going to use our paint brushes to paint it on, okay? So you can be starting with that process. So we're going to actually be gluing the ribbon onto the star just like this, okay? And we're going to continue around. So first we'll apply the Aline's Tacky Glue directly onto the star, then we will start laying the ribbon and he will use his paintbrush to continue to brush it on. Now you don't need to worry that the glue is going to cover the, the pretty ribbon because in this case we have transparent ribbon. Part of it is going to dry but we're also going to glitter it as we go. So at the end, it's going to be very crystally looking like a sugar type coating, okay? So now I'm going to pass this ribbon over to Joseph and he'll show you what he's doing. So Joseph, you want to go ahead and coat the entire edge of that star to get started, okay? Oh. 
So get it, go ahead and get a good paint job on there. Now, Joseph is in college, and this has been a very special time for me. We wanted to do this series together because it's kind of our together time as a family. It's really been pretty much a lot of fun for us, I think, because we're learning how to do crafts together, and we're spending family time and making memories. So some of these ornaments that we've been doing in this series, we're actually using on our Christmas tree, and in one of our other videos, we actually made a recycled magazine Christmas tree, and Joseph liked it so much, he incorporated it into his, um, into his snow village. So now this ribbon that I'm working with right here is not going to be long enough for my entire project. And you can see I just cut a piece that is actually the width of this star. Okay? And about how long does it take for this glue to, to set up to set up and dry? Actually it doesn't take long to set up at all. Just a few minutes. I would say probably two to three minutes to set up. But you want to um, you definitely want to let it completely dry before you go to the next step. Okay, okay so, so we still have some time to manipulate it and try to get that ribbon on in a good position before it dries and stays. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, now that took about five minutes and we have it all ready to go. And what I'm doing is I'm trimming away any excess pieces of um, a ribbon that's hanging over the edge because we don't want to have that as much as pop as much as we can trim it away it'll be best so we can get a good glue onto the edge of the cardboard now Joseph and I were talking during this and we were thinking that these stars actually kind of look like cookie cutters and also I'm using red white and blue ribbon so we got to thinking boy that would make kind of an interesting patriotic you know idea for the um, for like a 4th of July type decoration. You could also make flowers out of these, so these would be really fun. Okay, so now, Joseph, you go ahead and you start the next part. So he's, this is where your school glue comes in really handy because we're going to glue the edges of the, fly, of the star. See, I'm thinking flower already. We're gonna glue the edges of the star and we want to go just on the tippy edge like that and some of the glue is going to actually dribble down into off the edge and into the sides. And that's okay. You want to pick your best side to work on, okay? That's okay because we're going to use that. It's going to actually make it look more like a sugar frosting, okay? So we're going to do that and get that going. So he's going to do his and I'm going to do mine. I think all my glitter is missing a star. Oh gosh. Well that's why we have these nice thrifty little trays. And originally I was using meat trays and vegetable trays that I cleaned. That I had bought vegetables and meat in the store and I had cleaned. Now you can see his is nice and perfect and mine is kind of gloppy. I'm not really worried about that. Because what I'm going to do is take my finger and just smooth down the glops a little bit. And you're going to be surprised how at the end, how pretty this comes out. you just got to not be afraid to get your fingers in there and make a mess. Okay? So here we go. And I'm going to sprinkle with my fingers that aren't messed. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's kind of not hitting the... You know, we got to keep working at it. So what I do is I just keep putting the glitter on there. Okay, I'm making a good mess now. Oh, yeah. It's all over my fingers. <laughs> It's just sticking to my finger. Yeah. But this glitter is going to be so pretty because it really does look like a sugar frosting at the end. And so we're going to continue doing this all the way around the edges of the star. Okay? So let's continue doing that. We'll come back when that part's finished. Okay. So we're in the middle of gluing this. And the reason why you invite a genius college student to come and help you do glitter projects and this is why it's so much fun to work as a family on Christmas projects like this is because your kids will have better ideas than you do okay so we're gonna show you this amazing thing that Joseph came up with to make it go so much faster and to get a really boy does that look good really crusty sugary look on the edge of the star it just looks fattening doesn't it it really does looks like you could just eat it Okay, so it looks starting to look like a beautiful sugar cookie. Okay, and so what he's going to do 
is he is dipping it down right into the glitter which would normally stress me out because I would think oh no I've got glue all in my glitter but actually he's um he really had a good idea so I'm going to take him up on his idea and don't be afraid when you see the glue dribbling down the sides because we're going to use all of that it's going to make it look really really sugar oh nice and look how pretty that is can you see that in the camera that is really pretty okay so now I'm going to take my turn now what we might want to do is with some of that, some of it's kind of, because of where there were lumps in the glue, it oh, yeah. globbed up on either side, so what we might want to do is flatten that back down, just so it doesn't make unattractive lumps. Well, that really looks great. Okay, and then the glue on the sides, you can just spread a little bit down on the sides, and um, we're going to put glitter on the sides. This whole ornament's going to have bits of glitter all over it when we're done. And you just sprinkle where you flatten it down. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty. And then tap it off. And then some, you'll have some where the glue is thicker and the, the, um, the glitter. And then other places where you won't have any. It'll just be sort of transparent with some glitter. And so that's what makes it look so frosty. Okay, we felt it important to take a moment to show you this part. First, let me show you how... Joey, show yours. Show, Joseph, show yours. Okay. Sometimes we call him Joey at home. Okay? So, see how crusty and crystally it looks? Well, what he did is he shoved it in and moved it all around and twisted and he taught me his technique. Okay? So, now you'll see the side, how sugary it looks. When that one side... What I'm doing is I'm using a little bit watered down version of the school glue and just doing a light brush on top. You don't want it to do it too heavy. And then I'm sprinkling some glitter down on there. And I want just a light frosting of that glitter. So you can still see the ribbon through it, but it's not, um, it's not fully covered. So it looks really like you could eat it. That's what turns it into looking like ribbon candy, okay? So how is yours coming? Are you trying it? Let's see it towards the camera. Oh yeah, look at it. Doesn't it look like sugar ornament there? Can you see that? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going, I've, I've sugared or, you know, glittered all of my star on the outside and we keep using that sugar term because it sure looks like it. Okay, so now I'm going to put a dot of glue right in the middle and I'm going to put a bead right in the center. So I'm covering up all of where the joints were and then another little dot of glitter on top and another shot of glitter oh i wish you could see how messy our kitchen is right now this is really something okay but we're having a good time okay now in the time that we were glittering our stars over there this one has already set up so i'm going to go ahead and remove my pins put those aside and our star is ready to go now if I wanted to paint this by hand, by hand instead of using spray paint then I would just go ahead and coat all of the areas of my star with whatever color paint I would like as my base color okay so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to take just a few moments go ahead and paint this star it won't take very long at all and I know that paint will dry pretty quickly okay and so then what I would do is I started the inside first so that I can show you what I would do on the outside. Now with or without paint you can take ribbon and this is just regular curling ribbon. So what I would do is go ahead and glue this ribbon into place all the way around and then glitter on top of that. So I'm going to begin this process and come back and show you what it's going to look like if I just use the craft paint and the curling ribbon. Okay and we're going to have something just as pretty. Okay, so now I have painted my star with kind of a gold-colored, um, sort of an off-white. It's actually called linen, but it has a gold tone to it. And so I'm going to use red curling ribbon, and I'm going to do the same process. So I'm going to dip into the glue and spread some glue on my, my star. 
And then I'm going to use the red ribbon and go just down the center and lay it down that way. Okay, here we are. That glued in really quickly with this ribbon. And so now I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Elmer's glue here and I'm going to start gluing the edges just like we did in the beginning just as you saw Joseph and I do before and here we are here's our red curling ribbon with the gold glitter on top now these ornaments are really reminding me of the 1940s it just has that kind of look maybe the 1950s as well it reminds me of something we would have gotten in a package that would have already been an heirloom in my family. It really is, it, I just think it's very pretty. Okay, and here are the ornaments. This is the green ornament that Joseph was making. It looks so pretty, it just really looks kind of like a sugar ornament. We're trying to work the, move the light so you can see. It has lots and lots of glitter on it and sparkles. Okay, and then here is the original ornament I started with when I had the idea to put the ribbon on it. And then over here is the gold ornament that I made with all of the gold glitter. And then up here is the, the ornament that I made when Joseph and I were doing it together. And you can see the frosting all over the ornament. Ron and I kind of decided we really like the, the frosting-like look, that icy, sugary look. It just packed up onto the ornament, as you can see, and all the sparkles. So we have really enjoyed this project. This is a real win for me. I definitely intend to make a lot more of these stars in the future to use not only for ornaments, but for gifts, and maybe use them on packages or something like that, and maybe even in gar other types of garland. So we hope that you'll try this out. Please leave your comments below if you get to try this ornament out. Tell us what you did. We would love to hear your ideas. And of course, visit us at www.bayoutown.com, which is our old website. We're going to be updating, but you can see some of the activities we were involved with, which included puppetry and performance. And I am a published children's author, so you'll see some of that on there. And then also, please visit us at facebook.com backslash Town and share your photos with us. We would love to see your projects, what you've become creative with through this process. Well, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and we hope you have a wonderful, blessed holiday.